All right, I feel a rant coming on, so better hit the record button, right? Freedom and liberty. Freedom and liberty. It's 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 the bread and butter of the right wing rhetoric. Everything is about freedom and liberty in, in the most broadest sense you can imagine. And in a broad sense, I definitely agree that freedom and liberty is very important in our lives today. But the right wing has a big problem post Dobbs and Roe versus Wade being overturned. You know, when people weren't paying attention, they could get away with the freedom and liberty rhetoric. Now, a lot of people are paying attention, especially women and people who could bear children. They're paying attention now. And when the Steven Crowders of the world, the Ben Shapiros of the world, the Dennis Pragers of the world, come at them with freedom and liberty rhetoric. It can never land again the way they think it does. When you have stripped away constitutional rights from half of America, the freedom and liberty rhetoric that you foot on us every single day of your existence isn't going to land anymore. You see, the mask, it might just, it just might be full on off at this point. I was going to say the mask is slipping. It, it kind of feels like it's off. Who you are and what you represent, there's no middle ground anymore. You have taken a stand against freedom and liberty for Americans' reproductive rights. It's clear. There's no fog involved. There's no middle ground to, to, to tread upon, you see. So when you come at us with this freedom and liberty rhetoric, which you will do in the future, with all these people who were clueless before, who are paying attention now, how do you think it's gonna hit them? How do you think they're gonna see you? Have you thought of that yet? You better start thinking about it. Because your mask is off. And we see you for who you are. And your freedom and liberty rhetoric will fall flat. I honestly believe in future elections, the GOP will not be able to win elections anymore from this moment on. Which is why you see the GOP pivoting to, 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 to Hungary and dictators like Orban who totally trash democracy and use it and manipulate it against the people because they know that's their next move. Because at the federal level, maybe at the state, maybe at the local, but definitely at the federal level, you guys have done yourself in, okay? And, and so, so you're, gonna, you're gonna be saying every election is stolen because you're gonna lose a lot of elections. Let me tell you this. You're gonna lose a lot of elections at the federal level. Most of them, 90% or better. I don't know. It's gonna be bad. But anyways, back to the freedom and liberty rhetoric. You've been 
sought out. You have been the, the cloak that you wear has been lost. The cloak of freedom and liberty that you shroud your, your yourself in, your existence in, is a joke. And most people know this, except you. You don't know because you're, you're, you're flying high right now. Like, ooh, we got this big victory. This big Christo fascist uh, victory against, uh, you know, people's reproductive rights. You're going to find out. <laughs> and you're not going to win another federal election. I can almost guarantee it. It, it might be a handful. I mean, it's a big country. You know, it, it, there's red strongholds throughout the country. Uh, but as far as like getting a majority, no way. No way. This has woken up way too many people who were politically asleep. Um, and, you know, you're sussed out. You're a fraud. You're a phony. Uh, your freedom and liberty racket uh, has been busted. So learn to cope, I guess, as the kids say these days. Anyways, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you.